All right, time now for your Alabama News Center college football update. Next round, guys, here. Let's start with the big Saturday coming up in the SEC. Auburn on the road after a bye week at Missouri. They're a four-point underdog, Lance. You hope there has been a bye week reset. you got to reset in the off week. This is a little bit of a different team coming out of. They've cut out the turnovers. The defense has played better. They can win this game. Yeah, Columbus. still dead last in turnover margin in the FBS. And you look at Hugh Freeze, dis- he hasn't had success against ranked teams. In his career, 12-27 and 27 straight up against ranked teams. Missouri is a ranked team, but how good are they really? We don't know. Luther Burden will play. There were some questions at the beginning of the week, but he's not on the availability report. Alabama, in what some are calling a playoff elimination game, not necessarily that, but it could be for the loser. On the road at Tennessee, echoes of 2022 when it was a classic game high scoring game in Knoxville I don't think it'll be near that high scoring you've got a good Tennessee defense against a good Alabama offense and then everybody points out you got a Tennessee offense that all of a sudden is struggling against an Alabama defense that has been struggling a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and dating back to 2020, the Volunteers have been underdogs at home eight times. They've won one of those games. It was 2022 against Alabama. Kalen DeBoer from Fresno to Washington to now Tuscaloosa, 13-1 and all-time against top 25 teams. Alabama's got to be a lot better on third down defense in this game. Biggest game in the country, another top five SEC matchup. Number five, Georgia, with a loss on the road at number one unbeaten Texas. I mean, Georgia's a five-point underdog in this game, which blows me away. You probably haven't been able to see Georgia's that big of an underdog since 2016. You just feel like this is when they make you pay for that. A lot of disrespect coming into this game. Texas has got, you know, inflated numbers all over the place. They haven't played anybody. And this Georgia team, they've got to clean it up on the defense. They've got to get to the quarterback. They've got to force turnovers. They've got to stop missing tackles. Carson Beck is playing almost at an elite level right now. I think the offense will continue to get better. And I think Georgia has something to prove Saturday night. Poor old Georgia going on the road (laughs) to Texas. Can they get a first down, you think? Yeah, we'll see. That's our Alabama News Center update.